Sup? How's life in confinement? I woke up today to see what took over the internet entirely. It's Corona time. Were any of you listening when I said stay home, wear a mask, wash your hands, god damn it? The coronavirus saga continues. Seems that a whole dynasty of whistleblowers and critics of the pandemic response is going MIA. Let's talk about it. We've got at least five high-profile cases of people going missing after speaking out about the coronavirus outbreak in China. I'm sorry for butchering Chinese names yet again. We talked about the citizen journalist Chen Qiushe last time, but there are two other very similar cases. That of Fang Bin, a Wuhan resident who filmed a curiously high number of bodies being transported from the third hospital in Wuhan, and Li Zhehua, a former CCTV reporter who traveled all the way to Wuhan in order to report on the epidemic. Soon, he posted a video about being harassed and followed by the authorities. And I gotta say, the video is quite disturbing. The two of them vanished around the same time as Chen Qiushe, both filmed and posted videos from Wuhan, and both were arrested in a bizarrely similar way. In the videos, people who claimed to be from the CDC and casual clothed police came to their apartments to quote unquote check their temperature. Okay, this is some big fat lie if you ask me. To me, it all sounded more like a group of gangsters coming to your apartment claiming they care about your well being and just want to measure your temperature. Why do you have baseball bats though? Ow, these? <laughs> that's, that's just in case you're resist. I mean, <clears throat> for protection. Uh huh, uh huh, gotcha. Right there with you. Li Zhehua, however, seemed to have reappeared, posting an update on his YouTube channel on April 22nd, explaining what had happened to him two months ago in Wuhan. As he claimed, the police took him in for questioning, informing they won't press charges, and then directed him to a quarantine center in Wuhan, where he spent about two weeks. Then, supposedly, he was transferred to his hometown for another quarantine, all the while saying that, quote, During the whole process, the police enforced law in a civilized manner, ensured my rest time and food. They also cared about me very much. End quote. He ended his video update with several strange, seemingly positive sayings. Quote, I'm grateful to all the people who looked after me and cared about me. I wish all people suffering the epidemic can pull through. God bless China. I wish the world can unite together. End quote. I don't know about you, but to me, all of that sounded very bland. Almost like he was made to recite them by heart, which is straight up suspicious. But who could blame him? Who knows what consequences he would face if he continued criticizing the CCP? It seems that not even medical staff, so essential during the outbreak, is off the hook with the government. Another person to disappear without trace is Dr. Ai Fen, a director of the emergency department of Central Wuhan Hospital. As she stated herself in one of the interviews, I am the one who provided the whistle. Back in early December 2019, she came across a patient with flu-like symptoms that didn't seem to subside with standard treatment. The test report revealed the patient to have a SARS-like coronavirus, which Dr. Ai Fen made sure to inform her superiors about. She instead got reprimanded for quote-unquote spreading rumors and harming stability. Awesome. Tell that to millions of people who suffered because of the late response and cover-ups. Then she gave an interview for The People magazine in China, where she said, 
If I had known what was to happen, I would not have cared about the reprimand. I would have fucking talked about it to whoever and wherever I could. The interview was posted and soon deleted from all social media sites. And soon, Dr. Ai Fan couldn't be contacted anymore, vanishing into thin air mid-March. 60 Minutes Australia did a segment on the doctor's disappearance, and then later reported. Soon after the show aired, Ai's account on the Twitter-like platform Weibo sent out a single, cryptic post with a photo taken from Wuhan's Jianghan Road. And along was a caption. A river, a bridge, a clock chime. Reportedly, she has since returned to work, after disappearing for more than two weeks. Radio Free Asia looked into the matter, but couldn't contact Ai Fen directly. However, a source said that Ai Fen had come under considerable political pressure behind the scenes, and wasn't in a position to talk about her situation. But wait, it's not over yet. You would think that having money and influence would somehow shield you from any consequences, right? Ren Zhichang, a Chinese property tycoon, went missing after his hard criticism of the country's leaders and the Communist Party. He was adamant that the CCP's and Xi Jinping's response to coronavirus outbreak in Wuhan was botched. He said in an essay published on social media after Xi addressed the nation in late February, I saw not an emperor standing there exhibiting his new clothes, but a clown who stripped naked and insisted on continuing being an emperor. Oh boy, now you've said it. Wait, but he didn't specifically call anyone's name. And there he goes vanishing on March 12, 2020. Oh, come on! Ren's whereabouts were unknown until a very recent update from the authorities on April 7th. The Communist Party's disciplinary watchdog announced that Ren was under investigation for alleged quote-unquote serious violations of law and discipline. His family still doesn't know where he is or how long will the radio silence about his well-being last. There are a shitload of things that China and other countries could have done right away to prevent the spread of the virus worldwide, but didn't and now it's a big fucking problem. Guys, listen, I get that the weather is shit when you can go outside, but during the quarantine it's suddenly like a damn Eden out there. But trust me, if you stay at home now, you'll live long enough to tell your grand puppers how our moms always told us that we won't get anywhere laying on the couch and yet, here we are, saving the fucking world. Thanks so much for watching my videos, thank you to all of the new subscribers and as always, special thanks to my patrons. If you like my work, please consider following my social media accounts. And if you want to get bonus content, sneak peeks and bloopers, you can get them all by joining the squad on Patreon. I also have a Redbubble store actually, where you can get merch with ridiculous designs like this one. Okay, that's it. Stay safe, wash your hands, until the next time.